I love these types of charts. They're called animated bar charts. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you could recreate this with your own data in less than five minutes. There'll be three main steps, finding the data, transforming the data, and then creating the visualization. And this is all thanks to Flourish. It makes it really easy to do this. They do not sponsor this video, but Flourish, if you're watching, let's do some future videos. We're actually gonna do this in reverse order. So we're gonna start with the graph first. So open up a browser and go to flourish.studio, make an account. It is absolutely free. Although I will say your data will be public. So if you have sensitive data, maybe don't do this. Once you're logged in, click on new visualization and you'll be able to choose from quite a bit right here. We're going to be looking for race, Okay, that is the line chart race. I have another video on that. Here is the bar chart race. We're going to go ahead and select the bar chart race, which has already data pre-populated in it. So you've actually technically already created your first animated bar chart race right here. I think this is by population of the different countries inside the world against time, if I'm not mistaken. This is a pretty cool visualization, but it's not the one that you guys probably want to make. So let's go ahead and try to find some data and then we'll transform it. For this data set, you're going to want to be a time series with groups. So in this case, the groups are the countries and obviously up here we have the time series. Finding your own data set can prove difficult. I recommend checking out Kaggle.com. They have a lot of data sets there, but if you want the best resource for finding your data set, check out in the description, there will be a link to something called Data Science Project Studio. This is my course on how to make the best projects possible. And inside of that course, I have something I like to call the million data set catalog, where I basically found the best data sets all across the internet and have them already up there for you for your access categorized. I think countries end up working well for this data set, countries against time, right? Uh, I've seen one with internet browsers against time. I've seen one with stocks against time. Just some ideas for you. So the data set I'll be using for this demo is from WHO. It's the coronavirus COVID-19 data, basically. I went to the data download and I was just able to download all of the different countries time series of how COVID has affected their countries. And this is what that data set looks like. It basically has the date, the country, and then the new cases, cumulative cases, new deaths, and cumulative deaths. Now, you might have noticed that this actually looks quite a bit different than this. And specifically, it's mostly transposed and pivoted. Where this has the years as columns, this data set comes with it as a row. And that's going to be the case for most of the data that you're going to find. I don't know why Flourish wants the date to be the columns. I don't really get it, but that's the way Flourish sets it up. So we need to do our second step, which is to transpose the data. So to reemphasize, basically we're going from a very tall table to a very wide table. And to do this transformation, you can use lots of different tools. I originally tried Google Sheets, but I kind of got stuck. I'm not that great at Google Sheets or Excel. So I ended up using this code inside of Python to do that transformation for me. I'll leave it on the screen. You can pause it, take a look. I'll also have the code in the description down below. There'll be a link to it and you can get it for absolutely free. So that way you can use it with your own projects. Now you'll go back to Flourish. You'll click upload data and find the new CSV that you created. I called mine claimed because I can't spell cleaned. Hit open, hit import. Then you'll select the columns. You're going to make the label A and everything else is going to be values, okay? Also make the categories a, so that the coloring changes and you don't have any images, you can put some cool images on this, but we're not going to do that today. From there, you'll go over here and click preview and that will automatically preview your graph for you. It is already made, so well done. Now, there is a lot of things that you can do to try to make it look a little bit better. For instance, I don't really think we need the legend, so we can turn that off. You can also take the labels here and add a little bit more of space so we can actually see what they, they are up here. Now let's talk about exporting this because it is a little bit difficult. If you go up here, you can export and publish. So for example, you could publish to share and embed. Uh, basically that means that like you're going to get a link and an embed link. So like for instance, you could send people to this link right here and say, hey, view my graph. Or you can embed this on a web page. You can also download this as an image or an HTML or even add this to a Canva presentation. Canva recently purchased Flourish. You can add it to a Canva presentation, but you cannot really turn this into a video. So how did I turn it into a video? Well, I used Camtasia to do a little screen recording and basically just cropped it down. So use any sort of screen recording software and that will help you get this into a video format. So there you go. That is how you make a animated bar chart race. If you like this video, maybe check out these ones.